Madison, Indiana was a small town with a tight-knit community. Everyone knew each other's names and neighbors were more like family. In the year 1992, the town was rocked by a crime that would forever change the community. The victim was Shanda Scherer, a young girl with her whole life ahead of her. She was born and raised in Madison and had a bright future. Shanda Scherer was a vibrant and outgoing young girl who was beloved by those who knew her. She was born on June 6th, 1979 in Pineville, Kentucky and spent her early childhood in rural Kentucky before moving with her family into New Albania, Indiana. Described as friendly and outgoing by those who knew her, Shanda was known for her infectious smile and bubbly personality. She was active in sports, particularly basketball and softball, and was a gifted athlete. Shanda was also a talented musician, playing both the guitar and the saxophone. Despite her outgoing nature, Shanda was said to be a sensitive and caring person who had a deep compassion for others. She was known for going out of her way to help those in need and was particularly passionate about animal welfare. But like many small towns, Madison had its secrets and when a new girl arrived in town, those secrets would be exposed in the worst way possible. Her name was Melinda Loveless and she was known as a troublemaker. Melinda Loveless was born on October 28, 1975 in New Albany, Indiana. She grew up in a tumultuous household with divorced parents and was reportedly subjected to abuse from her father. Despite these challenges, Melinda was known to be intelligent and creative with a talent for writing poetry and playing the guitar. As a teenager, Melinda struggled with emotional and behavioral issues and was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. She often acted out in violent and aggressive ways and was eventually placed in a juvenile detention center after attacking another student with a knife. Melinda Loveless had a complicated relationship with Shanda and there were several factors that contributed to her dislike of Shanda. Melinda and Shanda had been in a relationship with the same girl, Amanda Heverin. Melinda was jealous of the attention that Amanda was giving to Shanda, and this fueled her hatred towards her. Melinda had also heard rumors that Shanda had said derogatory things about her, which further added to her animosity. Melinda became obsessed with Shanda, and her jealousy soon turned to rage. She recruited three other girls, Lori Tackett, Hope Rippy and Tony Lawrence to help her carry out a plan. See, Melinda had been pretending to be a boy named Josh and had been talking to Shanda on the phone for weeks, pretending to be interested in her romantically. She essentially created a fictional character named Josh Evans, using a photo of a boy she knew from school as the basis for the fake persona. She then used a voice-altering device to disguise her voice as that of a teenage boy and called Shanda several times, pretending to be Josh and flirting with her. Melinda's impersonation of Josh is just one of the disturbing and manipulative tactics she used to carry out her twisted plan. On the night of January 10th, 1992, Melinda called Shanda and told her to sneak out of her house and meet Josh at a nearby gas station. Shanda, who was only 12 years old at the time, didn't want to get into trouble with her parents, so she initially refused. But Melinda was persistent and eventually convinced Shanda to sneak out. When Shanda arrived at the gas station, Melinda and her friends were waiting for her. They told her that they were going to take her to meet Josh, but instead they drove her to a remote location. Once they arrived at the location, Melinda and her friends began to beat and stab Shanda. The attack lasted for hours and Shanda suffered imaginable pain and terror. The torture that Shanda Scherer endured at the hands of her attackers was unspeakable and cruel. 
They repeatedly stabbed her with knives, burned her with cigarettes, and even used a tire iron to crush her skull. The torture continued for hours and Shanna was forced to endure unimaginable pain and terror. She begged for mercy and pleaded for her life, but her attackers showed her no mercy. To make matters worse, her attackers also taunted and humiliated her, mocking her as they inflicted pain upon her. The cruelty and sadism displayed by her attackers were beyond comprehension. Now the final act of horror came when Melinda Lovelace and her friends poured gasoline on Shanda's body and set her on fire. Shanda's screams could be heard from miles around and her body was found burned beyond recognition. According to reports, Shanda was still alive when her killers doused her with gasoline and set her on fire. The flames quickly engulfed her body, causing third-degree burns, and the intense heat also likely caused damage to her internal organs, which could have further compounded her suffering. The torture that Shanda endured was a senseless and brutal act of violence that pretty much defies explanation. Now it serves as a reminder of the darkest corners of human nature and the devastating consequences that can result from unchecked anger jealousy and cruelty. It's hard to imagine the fear and confusion that Shanda must have felt in her final moments. She trusted Josh and had no reason to suspect that anything was wrong. But the reality was far more sinister than she could have ever imagined. Shanda Shearer's body was discovered on the morning of January 11th, 1992 by a passerby who was driving along a rural road near Madison, Indiana. As they approached a field, they noticed what appeared to be a mannequin on fire. However, as they got closer, they soon realized with horror that it was actually the burning body of a young girl. The passerby immediately called the police, who arrived at the scene soon afterward. They found Shanda's body in the field, covered in a layer of gasoline and lit on fire. The blaze was so intense that it had burned a portion of her body down to the bone. Authorities worked quickly to secure the crime scene and collect evidence. They discovered that Shanda's killers had also attempted to dispose of evidence by dumping her belongings in various locations throughout the area. The discovery of Shanda's body set off a massive investigation into her murder, involving multiple law enforcement agencies and hundreds of officers. The brutal and senseless nature of her death shocked the community of Madison and the wider public, sparking widespread outrage and demands for justice. Despite the horrific circumstances of her discovery, the discovery of Shanda's body was a crucial turning point in the investigation, providing authorities with vital clues and evidence that would ultimately lead to the arrest and conviction of her killers. The Shanda Sherry case was described by authorities as one of the most heinous and disturbing crimes in the history of the state of Indiana and even in the entire country. The brutal and senseless murder of a young and innocent girl shocked the entire community. The level of violence and sadism involved in the crime was unprecedented and it was clear that whoever was responsible was capable of unspeakable acts of cruelty. Law enforcement officials worked tirelessly to bring the perpetrators to justice and their investigation eventually led to the arrest and conviction of Melinda Lovelace and her accomplices. The case was widely covered by the media and it sparked a national conversation about the dangers of teenage violence and the importance of identifying and addressing mental health issues among young people. In the end, the Shanda Sherr case served as a tragic reminder of the devastating consequences that can result from jealousy, hatred, and violence. It is a story that continues to haunt us to this day and serves as a warning of the dangers that lurk beneath the surface of seemingly normal teenage relationships.